Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to talk to you today about this scope right here. The Zeiss Conquest V4 6-24x50. Oh yeah, baby. She's a badass. So what makes this scope so special that I know I'm going to keep it? Three things actually. It's second focal plane, the glass. Oh my God, the glass. And I'm a little bit stuck up when it comes to optics. The fact that it says Zeiss on it, pretty damn cool to me. Now I'll be right back with a few words about second focal plane and a way to save some money on this scope. All right, let's check this damn thing out. All right, I'm gonna try not to fanboy too much on this scope, but it's gonna be hard. Let's start out looking at the eyepiece. It's got a fast focus eyepiece on it. It is seriously Zeiss binocular smooth. It just shows the kind of craftsmanship that you get with any Zeiss product. Now, when you run it one end to the other, it also will make sure that you don't have any type of point of impact shift because it is so snug inside of there. Now, here's a quick look at the magnification ring. You'll notice on the numbers that the 12 and the 24 have numbers beside them. It's scaled at 24 power for MOA, and at 12 power, you can double it. That way you know exactly what your reference points will be downrange if you want to use an MOA scale. Here's a look at it going from the high end of the magnification down to the low end at 100 yards. Right there, 24, that's where it's scaled. At 12 power, you just double the scale. Another nice feature that comes on this scope, the side focus, of course, it's as smooth as everything else, but it parallaxes all the way down to 10 yards and goes up to infinity. Now, it's not scaled in between, but if you need to make a reference point, you can, but all you have to do is set it at any range for the best available focus, and trust me, it'll be parallax free at that distance. Now the illumination is stepped, it's got 10 steps on it, and it has an off in between each one. The only thing downrange that illuminates on this particular reticle is the floating cross right in the center. But there are a lot of reticles available for this particular series of scope. Here's a look at them. Now all these reticles are going to be available through Optics Force. You're going to see a link below to it. Now this is a nice touch. On the top turret, it says quarter MOA, and right there it says bullet impact up. That will keep a ton of guys from getting confused on which way they want the scope to move when they move the turrets around and they're trying to chase their point of impact. Now here's a look at the vertical track, and I'm running it from stop to stop, from the bottom all the way to the top. Now I'm sorry I wasn't able to use my regular targets that I normally use, but it had been raining and flooding like crazy at the rifle range, so I just had to pick out a gong at 100 yards and use that as a reference point. Now the side turret is just as clicky and just as smooth as the top turret is, and it also moves just as precisely. Here's a look at the windage going from one side all the way to the other. Now there's not a ton of travel, but unless you've got a gun that was just drilled wrong, you won't need it. Oh yeah, it locks also. There's a look at the illumination downrange at 100 yards. And let's save you some money. All you got to do to pick up a scope like this and save some serious cash, go to Optics Force. There's a link below in the description. You can go there and it helps support my channel. And more importantly, it saves your ass some money. First focal plane, second focal plane, fixed power. It doesn't matter as long as it suits your needs. A scope like this with great glass, illuminated cross right in the center so it doesn't glow if you do want to use illumination. Zeiss warranty and a great dealer to work with. I don't see a downside. Let's go.